It's a place of beauty, where Europe and Africa are a small distance apart. For someone from mainland Britain, it feels eerily like home, even though home is far away. From Gibraltar's rock, you can peer down on the Spanish town of La Linea, but with Spain's economic crisis, the two places seem worlds apart. Down there in the small area known as El Campo, around 40,000 people are unemployed. The contrast couldn't be sharper because over in Gibraltar, there's almost no unemployment. The territory is a centre for banking and finance and more recently has become the international capital of online gambling. And if you're a business looking to set up there, the major attraction is that you pay relatively low levels of tax. And the businesses bring jobs. It's why more than 4,000 Spaniards cross every day to work in Gibraltar, a vital source of employment for a neighbouring crisis. If we have in La Línea, with a population of 70,000 people, more than the 10,000, 11,000 people unemployed, uh, obviously Gibraltar is, a, is a, an escape. In this British supermarket, there are Spanish workers. Will you sign me here, please? Gibraltar's economy has not been badly affected by Europe's crisis. But after pressure from other European countries, Gibraltar has introduced a flat rate of corporate tax. We think that we've got a fair rate of tax. It has meant that people who used to pay 35% of tax, corporate tax in Gibraltar, now pay less. It also means that people who come to use Gibraltar as a place from which to do business pay 10% more than they used to. Gibraltarians do share their small slice of land with other inhabitants. It's yet another quirk of this British territory on the edge of Spain. Some say it should be Spanish, but others point out that Gibraltar is now a lifeline for thousands over the border. In much of Europe, economics is now perhaps a more potent force than political concerns. Tom Burridge, BBC News, Gibraltar.